Coming up next, the New 80s Revolution with Jason Nupp on WPIX Channel 11. Whoops, I mean YouTube. Well, hello everybody, Jason Nupp, New 80s Revolution office with the Kramer over my shoulder. Uh, it is the beginning of Nup All Night, and before we get to Nup All Night, we have to do Nup All Day. I am begrudgingly in my office today until 3. Ugh, that is a nightmare. I can't let that happen going forward, but I'm here till 3, and then it's straight home for some mowing and some mulching. It's a double M day, folks. It's mowing and mulching. Uh, and then I, I have no idea what, but we'll hang out. We, I, I went to Lowe's yesterday. I apologize, but I did bring you with me to a degree. Um, the children's mother was with me, so I will put some music over the, uh, store montage. We actually went to the at-home store. I had $30 in rewards points, so I got this blanket for the office, um, then we went to Lowe's, and I got the shelving. So we're going to do the shelving today. Um, and I still have to go back to Lowe's today for a couple more of those railroad tie, yard tie type thing. Yard wood, as we purchased in the last video or the last Lowe's shopping. So we'll get, we'll go, maybe we'll, we'll end up going back to Lowe's today. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll work outside. We'll uh, we'll drink a beer. We will drink a beer, and I'm excited to put up some of the. Sh I'm excited to put some of the new stuff on the shelves. Oh, and then we're just going to go through more of Colin's package. That's right. We're going to get our hands on more of Colin's package, and uh, today's Colin from Canada episode is the electronics that Mr. Canada sent me, or brought me, sent me, brought me, the electronics. That's right, there's four specific, well, there's there's movies, and yeah, okay, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be the video games that he gave me and the movies that he gave me today. We're gonna look at the electronics, the, the entertainment, the media that, the, that, uh, that Mr. Canada brought me, and um, that's it. That's what we're going to do. That's how Nup All Day, Nup All Night is going to progress. So right now I will show you a little bit of the uh, shopping montage with some generic music. Uh, and that's it. And, and, and uh, thanks again to Smash Ventura for that cutesy little intro. Smash, Smash Ventura continues to be a, uh, a creative genius. And that's the uh, WPIX announcer uh, back in the 80s. WPIX, such a wonderful New York area channel, kind of like WOR. Well, that's the announcer announcing the new 80s revolution, as he would have in the 80s. All right, folks, let's, uh, let's go have fun all day together. I got to get out of this office. It's only 11 o'clock. I have four more hours here. Yeah, or something. I don't know, three, whatever. See you in a bit. All right, uh, before my last appointment of the day comes, I wanted to, since we're doing the Colin from Canada week, showing all of his updates, I wanted to show you some stuff that's staying in the office. He gave me these... I don't even want to take them out. He gave me these busts, these uh, Universal Monsters busts, and I think they're awesome. And the styrofoam that they sit in kind of looks like a headstone. So I'm keeping them right there. I could take them out of the styrofoam and just leave them on the shelf, but I'm not going to. These are great. Uh, my kid freaked out about these and he wanted them, but they're staying right here. Also gave me some Karate Kid reaction figures that are staying right here. Those are awesome. Uh, these universal, not universal, these, um, uh, the, the, the cereal monsters, uh, Frankenberry, Count Chocula, Booberry. Those are great. He said these are Funko and they are. Okay. So they're Funko. I have never seen these. I didn't know that Funko put those out and he was like, oh, I know they're just Funko, no, but not, not at all. Those are, those are fantastic. 
Uh, the California Raisins album is back there. The Mr. T album and the Mickey Mouse is uh, actually decor in my office now. I am 1000% going to listen to this California Raisins um, album. I don't know when, but I will. We've got a Funko Elvira vinyl figure that is sitting right there on the shelf as well. Uh, coming over here, he gave me a couple more of these Universal Monsters figures. So there's a Frankenstein from, I have no idea when. Let's, let's see if we can, this is from, I can't, I don't know. I can't really read it. I can't really see who makes that or when. It is like universal. Uh, 19, well, 19, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I'll look later. So there's a Frankenstein. And then he gave me these little, these little figures. The Wolfman. That I'm going to need to learn how to stand up. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Swamp Thing. Frankenstein. Love it. So those are here. He gave me a actual Duff beer can. And he gave me these carded uh, Mattel Ghostbusters figures. The exact ones that I had loose. So now those loose ones are up on eBay. And the carded ones are right there. The Kramer proudly hangs in a therapist's office. What would you say if you went to therapy and the Kramer was hanging in the office? There's the Blu-ray player that he gave me. There's the Mandalorian pop. And here are still all the Coliseum videos um, that I'm going to go through and eventually put I'm going to put another bookshelf here. I have a couple more of these bookshelves at home. I'm going to put another bookshelf here. And I'm going to put all those Coliseum videos in that bookshelf. So they will be here. And I will watch them here. All right. So that is the Colin from Canada office hall. Our office display. Everything else came home with me. Um, most of it is still sitting in my garage in the tub that it came in. I took out all the wrestling stuff for you yesterday. That's going to get hung up in the cave today. And, uh, tomorrow, in addition to this airing of Nup All Day, Nup All Night, we're going to go through the other stuff. So that's tomorrow. Today, you're going to see the video game collection, like I said earlier. I think I'm repeating myself. So you're going to see that today. Tomorrow you're going to see Nup All Day, Nup All Night, and the rest of the Colin from Canada haul. And that's it. All right. Now I'm going to wait for my last person, then I'm going to go home. Um, Liam has a friend over, and they're begging me... They're begging me to take them fishing, which was not the plan today. I do not want to go fishing. But I'm probably going to end up having to take them fishing. So we're not going to start the yard work until later. And we're definitely not going to start the shelf until tonight. But we'll have something to do tonight, right? See you in a bit. All right, folks. Well, as predicted, I got out of work at 3. And I am sitting at the pond right now while the children are out there fishing. Because I'm dad. And that's what dads do. Literally, same work clothes. But I do have, under the mat, a gift from Colin from Canada. So I'm going to read this one. I've already read chapter one. Yeah, wrestling books are. They're always, like, so inflated. So in chapter two, Diana Hart is talking about how she met Andre the Giant. And his, when she was 12, his ring... You know, there's always the Hulk Hogan urban legends about Andre the Giant. He could drink 839 bottles of beer. And little little Diana Hart says that Andre the Giant's ring on his finger slipped over her wrist like a bracelet. And I'm already like, okay. 
So anyway, I'm gonna read this for an hour and then they're going home and then I'm mowing the lawn and doing what I wanted to do today. So we'll see you when we go back home. Yeah. All right, we are home from the fishing. We have a ton of mulch to put around. The yard has grown disgustingly tall and I'm going back to the shed to get my tractor. But first, I have to put the ramp down. So I'm gonna put you right here. ramp down. Now we go get the lawnmower and I got to figure out God we get ants like crazy out here. I gotta move this chair. Yeah we get like a ton of ants. I hate them so much. They come up through the patio they come up through the concrete in the patio and they're just awful. Like right here, these are not ants, but they're like, they're starting to build their little ant houses. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. All right, let's go get the shed. Or let's go get the tractor. I have to mow the backyard too today. So our new gardens, we built, I built a new garden box over there. As you can see, this backyard is still wet. That's not good. Built a new garden box, put in some blackberries. That's not good. That's not looking good either. But new garden box, tied up the raspberries. That's good. They're gonna grow nice. This backyard is wet and it's tall. This is not gonna be a good mow. I'm gonna do the front first. I mean, and it's been hot out all day today and this, this yard is still wet. Um, put you up here while I get gasoline. So I'm going to mow the front first. Oh, there's ants in here too. I hate these. And there's always bees in here. It's like I live in an insect zoo. Alright, let's uh... Let's get on this. Get it backed out. That's not a good sound. Hope there's not something wrong with my battery. I already gave my I already gave the battery charger back to my dad. Please don't tell me there's something wrong with the battery again. Please. I think there's something wrong with the battery again. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm trying not to show any full frontal nudity on the channel, but uh I just got in from mowing the lawn and uh, I'm filthy and I had grass all over my shirt so that had to come off but don't worry don't worry ladies I'm gonna keep it covered uh, I got to take a shower and uh, then uh, whew, the kids went to their friends so that's big news right there look at me I got dirt all around that's big news right there so we're going to uh, take a shower and then I'm going to drink that beer with you down in the cave. And we're going to, uh, we're going to hang some shelves. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye -bye. All right, folks, let's head down to the cave. It is 7 o'clock. The children are at their friends. And I am down in the cave 
to measure um, where the shelves are going to go. And I might have to do a laundry also. Let's get the Hulk Hogan. There we go. All right, so you know they're going to go there. So let's let's set you. Oh boy, I don't know if I can. Ooh, don't break anything. Um, hmm. Yeah, I probably have to. Probably going to have to get a get the tripod set up for tonight's video extravaganza. Let's see if you're up here. Let's put you up here. Put that down. My Hulkamania hat on the way. And that's an odd view, but all I'm going to do is measure, because I don't want the shelves invading on the LJNs. So they're only going to go to like here. So that's, I don't even know if that's going to work for me. Um, 24 is 5. Shrink these down. Um, they're going to be small shelves. They're going to be 26 inch shelves. 26 inch shelves are going up. Remember that number for me, 26. Because if I go any bigger, uh, A, they're going to come out here. We don't want that. But more importantly, they're going to go in here. And we definitely don't want that. I just, well, hang on a second. Hang on. Maybe they can butt right up to the to the LJN shelves. They're gonna... Hmm. I don't know. How are they gonna look? I think they'll be okay. All right, so we're gonna go... We're gonna go... Uh, we're gonna go 30 inch shelves, folks, and we're gonna hope that it works out. 30 inch shelves. Let's go measure and cut. Measure once, cut twice. Oh, no, that's not it. Would I say 30 inch shelves? All right, let's go do 30 inch shelves and hope for the best and hope that I don't hate it and tear down the entire room again. Oh, by the way, New Age Revolution beer for the first time in one year and two months. Ah, all right. It actually doesn't taste that good. Okay, let's go cut some wood. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot today because I I um, forgot the, to get the little uh, the little picture frame holders that's going to hold you know the albums. But I want to make sure 
that were tall enough. See, I don't, it's got to go here. It's got to go here because I don't want them going there. So it's got to go here so that nothing gets blocked. I cannot have the LJNs blocked. So let's see. All right, so it's got to go here. So that means the brackets go here and here. Uh, that's too high. One down. There we go. All right. All right. That's that's acceptable to me. I think. <laughs> I think that's okay. I think. So my kids have been stepping all over these boards as they've been in the garage. So what's going to happen is all the albums are going to go up here. See, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, I don't need the, I don't need I don't need the um, prong holder thingies. Okay, so maybe we'll finish this right now. Uh, I gotta. I probably have to clean that off. So what I'm gonna do, and I know we're losing space up here, but we're gonna we're gonna be okay. I think. I think because what I want to do is, yep, I could do that too if I wanted. I could put a shelf up here, or I could leave these down here. I could put a shelf up there to put these, let's see, let me see, I don't know if I can, but I'll see, maybe it won't work, nah, it ain't gonna work there, might work there, let me get the other piece of wood up there, hold on, we're all working together folks. That's in the right spot. We'll see. It is. And these fit. Okay, we gotta use, we gotta maximize shelf space. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. That's not gonna work. Nope. I'm not gonna be able to put the albums here unless I just don't put them both here. And I put another one a little lower. See, I don't, I don't love this because you can't see Howard Finkel. All right, hang on, hang on, just, just calm down. You know how obsessive I am about this stuff. We'll put our glasses up here. You got to maximize space. You gotta make some ice space. Spread them out a little. That might be just fine. Um, yeah, these are gonna go in the the video game. The, these video games are going to go in the um, photo holders, so they're going to be all, all here, but but like this, it'll be like this in the picture holders. Okay, so that'll look good. So these are going to be here, and honestly, um, the books. Oh, my coloring books too. My coloring books are going to be right here. So this is going to be fine. This is going to work out good. That's going to be a decent looking shelf when I'm done with it. And then this, this will just probably go here on the next shelf. All right. Because everything else, everything else is small. Um, let's do the, let's do adjust this we have 
the mini ma oh yeah you can't see me at all let me come down here we have the mini mashers folks we have the awa mini mashers and those need to go over here so i'm going to raise you back up these need to go in here we're going to put all the mini mashers out on the awa shelf this is awesome because we don't really need many more remco figures and the ones that we do need are so expensive i mean my friend dave has marty Janetti with his t-shirt and he has a naked nord so i guess it's possible wait these are doubles all right so these ones are doubles there's two Group them up over here. Ric Flair. It's awesome. What I drop? I dropped. It could be Larry Zabisco. They're hard to. It's hard to figure out who they are. Do I have a, is this a double? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's a double. Okay. So I got, oh, I got two leftover mini mashers, two doubles. Obviously, you know what? Let's put them up there. Right. Mini mashers are up. And that's it, really. I mean, for the wrestling stuff, I've got a couple of books to put up. I got a couple cassettes. Well, I got more than a couple cassettes. Uh, the Hulk Hogan workout one is going to stay there. These are going to go with the... Um, with the body slam uh, album. So those are going to go up there. And then um, the magazines I put somewhere else. So yeah, we got another shelf up. It looks good so far. I just need to get those picture frame holders. Um, you can see it there. So we can get the book. So the magazines or the, the glasses are up here. Maybe we can even... Will these fit up here? Yeah, you know what? gonna be like this we're gonna group the we're gonna group the glasses together and I know you think well put the put the music with the music but I'm gonna need more room for the video game boxes pile driver and the wrestling album are gonna go together like so yeah and then, and then these two cassettes will be down here. You know, and sometimes they look good like this, too. Because you can see the spines of them. Maybe I'll do that. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. Pile Driver, Body Slam, and the wrestling album. Maybe I'll put them like this. Maybe I'll put one... This is really obsessive and silly. I'm gonna do it that way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I gotta get more of the uh, picture frame holders because those are gonna go like that. And then the books, the puzzle at least has to be put in the, we'll see, we'll see. Those fit, this one doesn't, we'll see. All right, it's crazy. I am crazy with this. 
The wrestling buddies are going to go on the floor underneath the shelves. Maybe we'll put one on the couch. What I'm ultimately looking for is a rock and wrestling bed sheet for the couch, but they are stupid expensive and I'm just waiting for them to not be stupid expensive. So we'll see if I can find one cheap because I'm not paying $180 for a rock and wrestling bed sheet. All right, we will, uh, we'll do something. We'll be back. I'm going to go do some stuff. We'll be back. All right, I know you like to see some of the meal prep. Um, <clears throat> uh, Aldi's sells something called, uh, what is it, Healthy Life or something like that. I forget what the brand is. Um, live Free. For now, it's gluten-free still. So we got gluten-free General Tso's chicken that I put in the uh, pan, and it's delicious. Um, I love it. And sometimes it's hard to find. Sometimes all these is out of it. So I'm just gonna stir it up real quick. It's frozen. You gotta just, you know, kind of, kind of let it cook in the pan here. And I got some rice in the fridge, and that's gonna be my dinner tonight. I'll put some onions on there, some chopped onions. But yeah, it looks really good, and it, it, it's really tasty. Like it's not like cheap frozen chicken tasting stuff. It's really good. So. All right, let's take a look at the backyard. Let me spin you around. Ah, let's go take a look outside. Oh, dog, settle down. Got my hard work on the lawn there. Got my patchy area growing in okay. Not bad. Let's take a seat here. Oh, yeah, this is all right. How you doing, dog? How you doing, pup? All right, this is not the best view. I'm looking right at the pool. But I'll spin you around again. All right, it is a uh, decent, decent Saturday evening. My dinner's cooking. I got to stay on that table tomorrow. New picnic table I got for free from Marketplace. I got to sand it and then uh, stop barking. What are you barking for? There's nobody out there. Eat my chicken. Kids coming home at like 8.30 tonight. And then it's probably on the couch for whatever we do on Saturday nights. I don't know, movies, whatever. Liam's been staying up every night practically with me to, um, to watch movies. So we watched The Descent. And then last night we started The Gate. Um, didn't finish it yet. But he, he he likes it. I think he I think he wants something more creepy than the gate. But I figured gate was a rite of passage, and he had to see it, so he's watching it. He's probably choking it down, um, because he wants something more scary. So we'll see. I think Child's Play will be next. Turn him into a horror fan. All right, I'm gonna go stir my chicken. Once it's all plated up, I'll eat with you. And then we have to go film tonight's show, today's show, Saturday's show. We have to go film Saturday's show, which is the video game gifts, the contributions from Colin from Canada. Why are you angry? What's your problem? What are you doing? What an angry dog. I don't know what she hears, but anyway. I gotta better get a better like placement for this chair, because that's all I'm looking at. Half a pool and half a yard. I need a better view. Come here. What are you so mad about? What are you barking about? All right, let's uh, let's go stir food and eat. All right, she's done. She's done, and it's really hot. And it's Spanish, you know, Puerto Rican rice and Chinese chicken, which it's just a happy little melding of cultures, isn't it? See how it is? Is it cooked through? Yeah. Yeah, I love this stuff. That's my dinner tonight. We'll go do some stuff. Well, it's 11.49 and uh, the night just got away. You know, these nup all nights might even have to be during the week because, oops, sorry about that. Might even have to be during the week because the children, they don't go to bed anymore. Um, and so I don't, 
I don't get to do what I do. So I just saw something exciting on on YouTube. The right here. NCAA college football returning to video games in 2025 from EA Sports. And that will be the first actual game, video game I buy in years. I can't wait to play college football 2025. <laughs> With the, like, uh, it's going to be so great. Because I'm so sick of Madden and, like, you know, NFL and 16 games and playoffs and blah, blah, blah. I want to do the college season. I'm kind of getting tired of watching this trailer, too. There's no gameplay footage because I don't think it's developed yet. But, well, maybe it is. Anyway. Um... Yeah, the Nup All Night didn't go as planned, so we'll probably get a lot of Sunday footage for you, too. And then just uh, to fill in tomorrow, I'll just do a um, another Colin from Canada box unveiling. So we're going to watch... Like I said, it's almost midnight. We're going to watch... Um, I haven't been telling you guys, but I've been watching uh, Mid-South Championship Wrestling on Peacock. Um, I think it starts in 81. And so it's Bill Watts. It's, let's see where I left off. I'm world, I'm Mid-South Championship Wrestling. Uh, resume season four, episode 16. There I am. So let's see where I left off. I don't want to, I'll pause it and then show you where I'm watching. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there you go. I've been watching... I've been watching Mid-South Championship Wrestling on Peacock. And I was alternating between that and World Class Championship Wrestling. And then I just got... I just said, let me... Because, you know, I, I won't... I'll watch them, like, once every 10 days, two weeks. So it was. I was losing, you know, I was losing, like... Um, I was I was taking too long to watch them, so I was I was forgetting what was happening. So I just said, let me let me just focus on one at a time. So I'm going to watch Mid South Championship Wrestling, and and it's not going to be like wrestling with the past. I don't, it's you know, not a full. It doesn't have my full interest. I just kind of lay here before I drift off and I watch a match or two, and then I and then I fall asleep. But it's cool to see like other wrestling from this era, from the '80s. Um, and how different it was from WWF and world and mid, I keep saying world class, but mid South is actually boring <laughs> a little bit. Um, so right now, Junkyard Dog is still there. Ted DiBiase is there. Paul Orndorff is there. Um, the Samoans are actually there. This is when they left the WWF when they lost their tag team titles. They went actually to mid South. And they're there, and they're managed by Skandor Akbar. Uh, Ernie Ladd is there. Tully Blanchard is kind of a job guy here. Um, Buddy Landell is just breaking in. Terry Taylor is just breaking in. They're about to uh, debut Hacksaw Duggan, and I don't know if he's Hacksaw Duggan yet, or is he just Jim Duggan? Um, who's cha they got so many champions. There's not like a... There's not like a Mid South World Champion, which doesn't make any sense. Mid South World Champion. There's like the Mid Mid uh, Mid South Champion. I think it's called the Mid. What is it? Mid Atlantic. I don't know what it is. The I, I forget what their belt, but they they have belts. Everybody's got a belt. Everybody's got a belt. Mister Olympia has a belt. Uh, Orndorff and DiBiase and. And um, Bob Roop are like trading titles, but anyway, it's just uh, it's just fun to watch sometimes at night. Um, the dog is kind of hanging out over there with me. It, it, the The door is open. The breeze is coming in. I have a little bit of yard work to do tomorrow. You guys can do that with me 
We are going to Lowe's. We got to go pick up some dog food. Um, what else can I do on a Sunday morning with everybody? I don't have... I don't know. I got $10 in Kohl's cash that I don't want to just go to waste. So I might go buy like a like a another black t-shirt for work. So all I wear is black now. I wear like the same outfit to work every day. Just black t-shirt and pants. <laughs> um, I don't know what else we can do tomorrow. But I'll extend this nup all night. And it'll just become like a nup all day. Um, I would like to go to the flea market tomorrow. Way out in Avon, which you have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's like 40 minutes away. And it's, uh, because now that I have the Super Nintendo, thank you, Colin from Canada, I kind of wanted to, kind of wanted to get some games. But I don't want to spend a ton of money. And usually video game sellers at flea markets, it's not like some grandma who cleaned out the closet and is selling games for a quarter. It's, it's, game resellers who, who who sell, you know, Mario World or whatever for Super Nintendo for 30 bucks, and that's not happening, so we'll see, maybe. I doubt it. I doubt I'll go. Who knows? We got yard stuff to do tomorrow. It's going to be hectic in this house tomorrow because on Sundays the kids are really bored, and their mother doesn't want them to play video games all day and they literally would be on Fortnite all day with their friends but that's kind of their entertainment on a Sunday because we're going to be outside and working and you know I don't know so tomorrow I, I used to love Sundays when Liam and I bowled but now Sundays are kind of like I know something's going to pop off in the house because she's going to get mad at them for not helping outside or wanting to play with their friends or wanting to go to their friends. Blah, 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 blah. That's what I hear all day Sunday. Blah. What else am I going to do? I don't know. I'm going to watch Mid South Championship Wrestling and uh, we'll be right back. We'll probably wrap it up soon for tonight, and then we'll extend this into Sunday. So it'll be a nup all weekend. That's gonna be, it's gonna be what you're getting nup all weekend. Hello, everybody. Oh, I kind of, kind of started that like we were starting a show. We're not starting a show. We're continuing the show. So f forget that. Forget that. Forget the uh, the entire intro. The hello, everybody. Forget that. We're just continuing on, folks. We're continuing on. It's Sunday. Like I said, last night, we uh, nup all day, nup all night. Kind of kind of changed a little because I didn't do anything last night. I actually went to bed. Well, I went to bed pretty late. Uh, I couldn't fall asleep. And... Come on, man. Then I had a TV on for a while. I watched... Uh, I watched some of Mid-South. But it, it's hard for me to get into because I don't... I don't... I, th I think as a kid... Jesus, there's a lot of cars coming. It's Sunday morning, people. Where are we going? Where are we going, people? I think it's... Uh, as a kid, I would have watched any wrestling in the world. I would have just, I would have, I mean, I watched Glow and cared about it, you know. I watched AWA, I watched, I watched everything. But looking back now, watching them now, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. So Mid-South, I know, gets really good in the, you know, like 84 85, but I'm an 81. And it, no, no, I'm in, I think I'm in, I think I'm in 82, I think, or 83, I'm not sure. But, uh, it, it's, it's, it's not, it's not that entertaining. It's hard to, it's hard to even sit there for the hour. Um, Bill Watts, 
is always he's part of the commentary team most weeks he's awful you know you talk about not scripting stuff versus scripting stuff sometimes this guy's got to be scripted sometimes you have to be scripted because you don't you don't you should have people write for you because winging it you're not so Bill Watts is kind of awful on the microphone as a commentator early on um, there's another commentator with him Boyd Boyd something it might be Boyd Pierce he's he's kind of weird the ring announcer's weird I don't know the whole show's weird so last night it, it was like I and the stars are great I mean it was I think the main event was like Paul it was uh it was Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia and someone else one of the bigger stars might have been DiBiase versus you know three of the main bad guys you know Bob Roop and I don't know and I just was like mm. you know it's hard to sit there so anyway I was up late but I didn't do anything worth filming I just I literally laid on the couch and tossed and turned so I wasn't downstairs or anything in the cave uh, so anyway after three minutes and 45 seconds uh, jibber jabber I'm going to a flea market this morning. It's at 9.43. I'm definitely getting a late start, but I, I fell asleep at maybe 2.45 last night or so. Two, I remember getting up and going pee at 2.50 and being still awake. Uh, so I slept. I'm going to go to a flea market and just walk around. Obviously, I've gotten a lot of stuff this week. So I don't need anything right now. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not looking to spend any money. I'm going to go see if I can, you know, grab a cheap Super Nintendo game or something. You know, something that I know is good. Because I've I never had a Super Nintendo. Yeah, that's nice. God. I never had a Super Nintendo. Um... I know, obviously, Mario, you can't miss with Mario's, but, um, you know, I want to try the system out. I got it from Colin from Canada. So we'll go there. I'll walk, a, I'll, I'll film a little bit. I don't have the GoPro with me, so it's like, I don't want to walk around holding, holding a phone like this. People know you're recording them. I'll just get a little footage of the flea market, and then obviously if I find anything, I'll show you. And then, um, then I gotta work outside today, and it's gonna be hot here for the next three days. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be in the high 80s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Oh, that's cool. No, it's not. I don't have air conditioning right now. My central air died last week and uh, you know your dad tells you get three estimates and I only have the patience to get two estimates because they're already done and I picked the cheapest and now we're getting the central air but I don't know when it could be Monday it could be Wednesday just my luck it'll be Wednesday we have those three stanky hot days and I'm talking hot high 80s I don't know what to do I'm a diva I'm gonna be sleeping in the basement or my office so that's gonna be rough but I gotta work outside today it's gonna be a long day their mother's already mad at the children at 9.46 in the morning. Because they didn't... What, what didn't they do last night? They didn't... Uh, oh, yeah, she's, she's, you know... I think she had a bucket of laundry for them to put away and they just didn't. So, like, she's already furious. Why don't they do what I tell them to do? I don't know. 
not sure. Alright, yeah, we used to go to breakfast when we used to do these things, but... I don't know. I'm not hungry. I haven't eaten in a restaurant in a year and a half. Alright, well, let's go to flea market. See you in a bit. friends sorry about the uh, lack of footage at the flea market it is hot out and there's so many people there and i only stayed at like i only walked around like 45 minutes and i don't even think i looked at the whole place uh <clears throat> hmm that's interesting red lights being run um i got two vhs tapes i spent five bucks all day i got the big chill and the sure thing john cusack is the sure thing and then the big chill just looks like a collection of friends from the 60s all grown up in the 80s doing their thing so i'll watch that uh, you know that's right up my alley so ah uh, flea markets i don't know i used to like <clears throat> and you've seen it on the channel i used to love these things i used to like get up real early in the morning and go to breakfast by myself and just go to these flea markets but i i think that's when everything was appealing to buy and that's when I was you know really just filling my room and doing all that um I gotta get on the right expressway uh but now you know now that I have so much and don't have room for what I have and packed away stuff I'm not gonna you know flea markets aren't really the thing anymore for me family's on like a mini collection sort of that hasn't really started yet of Harry Potter pops from Funko you know Funko pops um and there's tables and tables of Funkos at at the flea market but they're all like retail prices you know they're all like 10 bucks each 12 bucks each I'm like that's all right like one tail, like I can't imagine. One one vendor, I swear, had this massive square of tables. So she was standing in the middle of the square of tables, you know, the rectangle tables, you put them all together, forms a square. I'm not even gonna guess how many phone codes she had out on these tables. A thousand? A thousand at ten dollars each you know two for 18 or something like but I guarantee you that at the end of the day she has to pack up probably 970 you brought a thousand you're selling them for 10 each and you're bringing home 970 okay and I'm serious a thousand she had like eight tables all put together in a big square. All right. Packing them up. I don't know. My thinking is, if you've got a thousand of something, you know, look, if you, if you bought them 
at retail to sell at a flea market, then, then that's just dumb math. You know, if you collected them and you're like, ah, that's it, I'm done. And I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. Um, selling them all at $5 each is better than selling 30 of them at $10 each. I think. Anyway, I'm coming home with two VHS tapes. $5 lighter. About to go home into craziness. I guarantee it's crazy when I get home. The kids are shell-shocked on... Not shell-shocked, but is, is that what it is when you're stuck indoors? Shell-shocked. crazy. Maybe that's it. And then they want to do stuff and then their mother's yelling at them and then I end up taking them fishing or dropping them off with their friends or blah, 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 blah. Good old Sundays. This week at work is extremely busy. Extremely busy. I don't know why I booked myself so much. Um, in two weeks... I'm off Friday and Saturday. We have our garage sale days in town. And we're actually setting up a garage sale for the first time in years. And uh, I wanted to be home for both days of the garage sale. And I also wanted to go through the town and buy stuff. Garage sales usually are way more successful than flea markets, um, price-wise, obviously. Uh, but then, you you know, there's so many houses of just stuff you don't want. And then you get, like, one or two houses of, like, oh, cool, yeah, this is awesome, I'll take this. But you got to do that early, because if the awesome stuff is in a garage sale, it's likely gone by o'clock, you know, so you got to get out, but then my awesome stuff really isn't other people's awesome stuff, you know, so maybe the stuff I want will still be there, who knows, anyway, so that's why I'm working a lot this coming week to try to balance out having two days off, I usually see, I usually see 10 people together, you know, combined Friday and Saturday, so five hours each on Friday and Saturday, yeah, so I gotta fill those 10 people in throughout the week. So that's adding two more people a day, something. Yeah, three, ugh. It's gonna be slammed. All right, I think we'll conclude, I think we'll conclude the vlog, the weekend vlog. I think I'm done. I just gotta do yard work at home. So, it wasn't eventful. We didn't hang out in the cave, but, you know, it's one of those videos to fall asleep to. I mean, I'm serious. Like, I put... So, lately I've been putting, obviously, Stephen Brown's... Well, I still... I just replay them all. I start at the beginning and then just replay them and pick up where I left off the night before. And if you just go to the... If you go to his vlog like bundle, whatever it's called. How do you bundle up your videos? What are those called? Playlists? If you go to the vlog playlist, you can literally watch one at a time and they just they just start up with the next one afterwards. And then it saves your progress so you know where you left off. And I just watch them every night. I just fall asleep. Fall asleep every night. And then I've been watching Ryan Chataway's 24-hour movie marathons. I put those on at night to drift off to. And it's not that they're, you know, I'm not saying, like, they put you to sleep. I'm saying it's relaxing. And, you know, I don't need to keep my eyes open. I can just keep my ears open and, you know, listen to what they're doing and then fall asleep that way. So, anyway. I don't know. Do I regret coming to the flea market today? Eh, not really. I wasted a lot of gas. But, uh, it's all right. So that's the vlog this week. You know, it's probably going to be my Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. That doesn't mean I, you know, I still have to make videos for Friday, Saturday, though. Uh, but we'll probably usually, you know, we'll usually do three days. Maybe we'll do Friday, Saturday, Sunday of stuff. 
I don't know. That's all. I'll post this today, and then we'll probably take a look at more of uh, Colin's contributions. We'll see you later. Good night, now.